But if they ask anastomosis of the back of the thigh, then you draw these two trochanter cruciate. In addition to that, you also draw this entire back, this entire extensive anastomosis that are occurring all the way down. All right. So let's talk about the trochanteric anastomosis first. All I want you to guys to do is draw superior gluteal artery above, inferior gluteal artery below. Lateral circumflex femoral artery laterally and medial circumflex artery medially gluteal. Literally, the name is saying the location. Medial circumflex and lateral circumflex femoral. Now, let's draw the anastomosis. Let's talk first about the trochanteric anastomosis. The first branch that's going to come to the trochanteric anastomosis from the superior gluteal artery above, from the inferior gluteal artery below, it is going to have a branch from the medial circumflex femoral artery medially, and this is going to be known as the ascending branch of the medial circumflex femoral artery. And from the lateral circumflex femoral artery, similarly, an ascending branch will go into the lateral side of the trochanteric anastomosis. And that's it. Trochanteric anastomosis, rat kai. If they ask you what is the blood supply of the head of the femur, which is a very important question, they're, you're going to do, you're going to draw this trochanteric anastomosis and you're going to be like, from the trochanteric anastomosis arise the retinacular arteries and these go to supply the head of the femur. Apart from that, there is acetabular branch branches that are also supplying the head of the femur. So head of the femur nerve supply is such an important, very good mirror. Retinacular arteries and obturator artery, well done. Uh, they might ask you, uh, the femur head has fractured and now it is going black. What, what is this uh, uh, clinical call? It's known as the avascular necrosis of the head of the femur. And the next question they're going to ask you is, what is the blood supply of the head of the femur? Their favorite question. So that's, this is what you're going to say. Okay. Next, let's go to the next anastomosis going below is the cruciate anastomosis. Similar to previously, a little bit difference is that uh, this time the inferior gluteal artery is above, but below is the profunda femoris artery. Now, where is this girl coming from, guys? I talked about this. It was coming from the anterior compartments artery, the femoral artery. Remember that branch we never talked about? We uh, ignored it. That was so rude of us. So now we remember it's profunda femoris arteries first perforating branch all right so profunda femoris has four perforating branches this is the first perforating 